I just launched a brand new website with a bunch of cool free tools and widgets for advanced OBS streamers like you. And on that website, I uploaded a streamer bot starter pack. It's got a bunch of simple chat commands and automated chat notifications to get you started with StreamerBot. So I'm gonna show you how to install it and how you can customize it with things like sound effects. The starter pack will be linked down below. If you haven't seen it, it's up on the website, nutty.gg, spelt just like that in your browser. It should redirect you to a Notion page. Guys, I don't wanna hear anything from you guys being like, oh, Notion, bro. Notion is not a real website, Nutty. I didn't ask, okay? Okay, sit down. I don't care for you about your computer programming degree. Uh, feel free to browse the free section. There's some really simple widgets like this clock widget that tells your viewers what time it is. This one that shows all of your Twitch metrics like your sub count and your follower count. And this one that I've called the scumbag sub goal widget where the goal is always one higher than your actual sub count. Very, very, very revolutionary stuff there. There's also a section for Patreon exclusive widgets. I lied, uh, not everything's free. Listen, okay? I'm going to like three concerts next month and then it's expensive, okay? Uh, you guys have to pay for that. Uh, but you guys came here for the streamer bot starter pack. So we're gonna focus on that one today. It's in the free section and there's a whole page with written instructions. I recommend checking that out just in case I decide to add anything more in the future. But yeah, let's get started. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code nutty at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you wanna get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15 and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately and then you can put that in your Windows settings and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD keys in the link down below. Okay, so to get this starter pack, head to the link down below. You'll see a fourth wall link here. You can put in any amount of money you want. You just put in $0 or like, Put in like $2.37, exactly. So I can see if you guys are paying attention. Uh, but you can just put in like $0 here. You can check out and you'll see two files here. One of them is a .nut file and then one of them is an instructions file. The instructions just take you to the website. So on the website, nutty.gg, there is an article that shows you how to install this starter pack, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you anyway. So uh, you don't even need you don't even need the website because I'm gonna show you right now, homie. I'm gonna show you right now, dude. So we're gonna download the .nut file, and then to import the starter pack into StreamerBot, you just click import, and you see this box that says import string. You take that .nut file and you just drag it into the box, and you should see all this appear. If this doesn't work for you. You could also just right click the .nut file, edit it in notepad, and this entire context or the, the contents here, you can just copy all of this, import, and then paste that into the string box there. You'll get 38 actions. You may get more because I might, I might update this in the future uh, and a bunch of commands here. But anyway, you'll, you'll get all these commands here. And when you click import, You'll get this uh, notification there, press OK. And that's uh, that's the entire starter pack right there. One extra step you do need to do is if you go to the commands tab, this is where all of your chat commands are. You will have to right click the group and press enable all. So now that you have the starter pack installed, what is it? What does it actually do? So we just have some basic chat commands that you can activate. So if we open up Twitch chat here, and let's just use the first one. We can use the account age command. We can just type account age here. And I typed it in wrong, nice. It will respond with how old your Twitch account is. Jesus Christ. Holy, my 11 year streaming anniversary is today. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy, well. Happy birthday, me. Just browse through the actions tab. You have things for setting your stream title, setting your game, you know, like all the basic things that all the other bots have. So for example, if we wanna change our stream title, 
we can just come into Twitch chat. Remember, click on chat. Streamerbot has its built-in multi-chat tool and this is what it looks like. So open up chat and just type in set title. Hello, people of YouTube. And press send. And if we go back into our Twitch page, should see our title here in a few seconds, should change to whatever you said in the title. You'll also notice that we get an announcement every time our title changes in Twitch chat. This is actually an automated chat notification. So if you look down the bottom of the uh, actions here, we have a whole bunch that say Twitch notification and then a few that say YouTube notification. And you can see like anytime any of these events happen, we're gonna post a message to Twitch chat. So for example, every time I get a new subscriber here, this is triggered by subscribers. What does this do? It posts a message to Twitch chat and then it also cross posts it to YouTube if you're streaming on YouTube. And you can customize these messages if you want to. So for this Twitch announce here, if we right click and edit sub action. So this is the message that's gonna write in Twitch chat every time you get a new sub. So here it says user subscribed with tier whatever, you can press okay. If, we, if you right click this, this will simulate whenever you get a new sub. So let's look over at chat. And if we right click and click test trigger, this will simulate what the chat should look like every time I get a sub. So if you wanna change this message to be a different format, you can do that. I'd recommend looking at all these actions and just seeing how they work and making your own adjustments uh, as you see fit. So for example, there's one that's called upcoming ads for Twitch. So what this one does is five minutes before every single ad, it's gonna post a message in chat reminding people that an ad is gonna come up in five minutes, or in this case, it says one minute. But you can actually change this so that it notifies one minute before, two minutes before, three minutes before, up to five minutes before. So if you want this to notify not one minute before, but I want it to notify uh, two minutes before as well and three minutes before, you can do that as well. And you can experiment with adding your own flavor to each notification. So if you wanna like play a sound effect with each ad trigger, you can just right click, core, sounds, play sound, and then I have a special sound effect. Okay, and then we can test this. We can right click our upcoming ad trigger and every time, one minute before every ad on Twitch, if we click test trigger. Want to watch ad free, pay up, son? It'll play that sound effect. I also added Windows notifications to the starter pack. So oftentimes I miss things like hype trains or whenever I get a raid. So what I did was I created in, uh, an action inside of StreamerBot and we can just test it. Whenever we get a subscription, we can test this trigger. It adds a little Windows notification on the bottom right with the profile picture of whoever subscribed. And we, we can test different things as well. Maybe if we get like, uh, Maybe when a hype train starts, we can click test trigger here and it will send a notification in the bottom. And all this is automated, so you don't have to do anything. Literally, you just import the starter pack and all this stuff should just trigger on its own. Just make sure you turn on notifications for StreamerBot. A lot of people disable their Windows notifications, so make sure you turn on your Windows notifications. Unfortunately, this action won't work if you play games in full screen because the notification shows underneath the game. So if you want this, these notifications to work over your game, you're gonna need to play your games in borderless full screen. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, have fun with the starter pack, guys. If you're looking to do more with StreamerBot, check out the website nutty.gg and also look at the article for the StreamerBot starter pack because I may add more stuff in the future and I'll update the article with any new actions I decide to add. I'm gonna be focusing on building more tools and widgets for you guys this year. So check out the free section on the website. One of the more popular widgets is the Twitch ad countdown widget, which simply shows a countdown on your stream every time ads are running. So your audience knows when the ads are gonna be over. And if you wanna support the channel, I do have some Patreon exclusive widgets on the website as well. I recently just built a daily check-in system for a commission and they allowed me to put it on the website. So basically the check-in system allows your viewers to use a Twitch channel point reward to like check into your stream and then they like gain points every time they do that. So 
Uh, yeah, you can go play around with that and many other paid widgets. But uh, yeah, um, why don't you like tell all your friends about me, yeah? And then like bookmark the widget and then like, yeah, like give me money and stuff. I'll see you guys some other time.